Wonderful. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is how we deal with bullshit, boys. Oh shit! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Slower Monster. I am the Master Ladies and gentlemen. We will continue our adventure in this action-filled game with rowing playing elements. This is not a rowing playing game. It's an action game with a rowing playing elements, by the way. I mind you, you know, you need to know the difference, my friend. And well, if you're wondering what this game actually reminds me of, I guess, well, on the way how this thing controls so far, I could clearly say that I I feel like I'm playing a pixelated version of Diablo 3. I mean, we all have mobile phones, right? So, if you guys are like looking for something like a Diablo-ish type of a game, and basically you are sick and tired, of mobile games and basically what you want to have a crack you know you want to have yourself a jolly good time link description below but for now though, we will return back to the graveyard and i am gonna try to look for the shovel the only shovel that apparently exists in this goddamn i left my shovel compass a little further away you should easily find it i have a bad feeling about this i don't know if a villain didn't snatch it from me yeah i bet why have a stupid feeling that you are the villain, huh? Why, why do I have a feeling like that? Hello, guys! How do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to pick up now, but I stand on the line. Kazoo! Uh oh, oh. Okay, ow. That's actually a little bit too close. Ah, shit. Why did I release the button? <laughs> I want you guys to die. Mr. Bond, I want you to die. Thank you for coming. Not come again. All right. What's that she said? And oh shit! Of course, more on that. More pottery around me as well. Yeah, I am so badass that I can just destroy the pottery with my gigantic feet. Okay, I don't actually have to swing my sword, my staff, or whatever at the pottery, at the ceramics, at the whatever thing. I can just walk over it because my foot are actually ill. Like they're super ill. Because they are so big. The amount of dead archers in this graveyard is, well, questionable. And I'm not saying this because, well, okay, well, uh, archers can die. But ask yourself this one question. How many times did you saw an archer die in an action rowing playing game? I mean, archers are basically immortal in games like this. Think about that for like a second. Archers are more or less immortal in games like this. Say what you want, but that's the truth. And like this graveyard, oh... I got myself some slick shoes over there. Well, hello there. Well, this is my first goddamn drop. Holy shit. Elemental resistance, movement speed. Well, I don't mind if I do. Attack speed. Hell yeah. I... Okay, nothing changed. Also, I just noticed that I am... Uh, I got my hands in my pockets all the time. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna actually steal anything from me, right? 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 I hope so. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway... Going forward, let them suckers, and of course more dead archers. How did you die? You really need to suck at this game, don't ya? Level up, boys! Uh, level five. Haha, <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> How can you be so bad? Ah, uh, you and that are really scummish, you know that? Okay, we gotta level up, and now the question is. Will I get myself some new fancy spells? No, I will get myself a new fancy spell at level 7, but... Why does it just look like I, that I have an ultimate ability? I will get the ultimate ability at level 10. So why is this action bar already free, huh? Can you explain me this thing, game? Care to explain yourself, game? Also, I am so big that I can destroy tombstones with my bare foot. That's how... Big of a cock I have. Check this out. I got this thing a killing spree. Ha! What? That's it. That, that, that's, that's, that's a joke. I mean, there was not supposed to be actually a joke in the first place. You know, I just got out to kill shit. That's all that is to it, boy. I am a walking killing machine. You see this shit? You see this? Do you see how I dodge? Yeah, exact. Ow. Murder. I'm just gonna stand still. And, you know, I'm gonna test my luck. How about that? I am losing hit points like crazy. I haven't died yet in this game, so you know it's about time. It's about jolly good time to actually die for the first time ever. Well, fuck, that's a boss. This one looks dangerous. What? Which one? 
I don't see anything over here. Oh shit! <laughs> really? What the heck is this thing? Little Timmy! Timmy! I mean, come on, man! Please! Be reasonable! You don't want to die? Okay, you really want to die, don't you? Dude, I don't want to point out what I'm actually annihilating your ass. I mean, come on. You know what? Let's let's go and get the new friends, baby. Let's make it a bit more interesting, shall we? Come on. Ow! Okay. You you just signed yourself a death wish. And you died. Twice. That's how bad you are. You're pathetic. Oh shit. Hello, good morning. Hello, excuse me, going through. Yeah, uh. I don't like what you did with this place, you know? It's a really a cheerful place. You know, you just want to go around and kick the bucket. It actually got me one that is like phase two, because <laughs> this is like the easiest fight so far in this game. I mean like, you really want to do this thing all day, man? Come on. Yay. I'm getting, okay, sure, it's a tutorial boss. I get it, I get it. I get it. He didn't got it, man. I mean, what, the only thing he got was a bunch of uh, magical balls going in his face. Okay. And I just want to point out that those were based actually on my own balls. Just, just saying. <laughs> I am powerful! I am strong. Hello, good morning. Okay, where's the goddamn shovel? Can you please put even more archers to this shit? Thank you. Oh, look, I found a magical porta. Yeah, that's a lot of them. That is a lot of enemies around here. Oh, hello. Mr. Archer! <laughs> Mr. Queen, <laughs> Mr. Quibble, <laughs> uh, what you doing? <laughs> you doing fine? You doing good? Yeah, I bet you're, good. you're doing good for yourself, man. Yeah, I would love to do that shit, man. There's a bit too many archers around here. Just a bit too many. A little tiny witsy bitsy witsy. But, you know, I'm going through. It's like going through the pack of wheat, you know. I mean, you may actually need the pickaxe. You may actually need a forklift, but eventually, you're gonna get through, through that shit. Okay, waiting for him to shoot. Thank you. All right. Now, can you all please pick a number and stand on the line? Thank you. <laughs> Pathetic. And I got something. I got mastery in my array. Killing streak. You're on a killing streak. Being on a killing stick is mostly for fame, but also slightly increases your percentage of slum fight. Got it. Thanks for your contribution. Uh, now, what exactly does it mean that I got level... Ooh, well, hello there. What are you doing here? Huh? Mastery 2. Well, channeling you have armor and elemental resistance. So basically, I can be a dumb fuck and keep standing in one position. It's a dream ability. It's a dream talent point. Hey, hey, I actually found a shovel. That's the shovel compass. It's a shovel with a compass on the uh, on the handle. The compass looks broken and the shovel is all cracked. I'm not sure if there's any condition to dig a hole. Let's take it back to Pedro. Sure, let's let's do. Let's find out what exactly he's going to give me. You are victorious. What a surprise. Hi, man. Hey, shovel, compass. Thank you. I was so worried. But it's all broken. Yeah, well, you broke it. In this condition, it would be difficult to dig a hole with it. But it does still points north. It's a compass on a stick. You wouldn't need a compass by the chance, would you? Otherwise, we can always fix it. I have a shovel compass repair kit that I left in the center square of the graveyard a little further away. It's very specific on other object. Let's go get it. Uh, okay, well, back to the graveyard, I guess. Back to the goddamn graveyard. Okay, the shovel compass is broken. Chapter 4. Oh, there's actually a description of it on which of those. Hey, I haven't noticed. We have found the shovel compass, but it's in a bad condition. Currently, it is a rusty handle that points north. You must find Petra's shovel compass repair kit in order to repair the only shovel in the kingdom! We will have to go through this area to reach the central square of the graveyard where the Pedro claims to have left his shovel compass repair kit. I mean, honestly. Uh, my shovel compass repair kit is not in this area, but we have to go through it. Well, that's strange. My shovel compass no longer points north. But that, that direction over there. Maybe we should follow it the way it's pointing. 
if you ask me, it's still pointing fucking north. But sure, whatever, man. So, gentlemen, welcome. Do you guys would like to actually evolve to the next form? Because, I mean, the bot is actually giving me bigger, bigger resistance than you fuckers are. <laughs> what? Nothing? No complaints? Okay, how about we gonna test out the new talent point I have just put? Ah? Ah? Okay, I like where this week is going. <laughs> it's a gigantic laser of doom. Doom and destruction. Look, we got a gigantic testing ground over here. Fire! Oh yeah! <laughs> How do you guys like my gigantic laser of death? <laughs> I feel like a fucking death star. It's a killing streak of 20! Thank you, game. Thank you, much appreciated. I got myself a new objective, you know. Basically, group up as many enemies as as humanly possible. <laughs> Hello, would you like to join the Congo line? <laughs> Come, we can have lots of fun. It's that fun till you die. Fun till you're gonna drop dead on the area. Oh shit. Okay, well, that was unexpected. I thought, I thought we'd never meet again. But we do. My nemesis, my enemy. My pen in the ass. Hey guys, hello. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I noticed. You can swing your stupid swords. Can you, like, come a little bit faster? That's what she said. Ow. Come on. It's a conga line with a mini boss. Wonderful. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is how we deal with bullshit, boys. Oh shit. Ah! That's not funny. You broke my kill streak. No. Son of a bitch! I was not expecting him to dash so quick through this Congo line. Oh well. I was building this Congo line for so long time. And you destroyed my dreams! You destroyed them! And now I'm gonna destroy you! I mean sure, it took some time, but... Elites. You just met an elite enemy. They are much stronger and more resistant than other enemies. Have it noticed! And have different skills. Watch for them. Yeah, this one runs faster. That's a gigantic difference. Whatever that thing is. Oh, max mana. Foreign damage. Raw damage. Foreign damage. Ex explain me this. Okay? This item, I think this item is supposed to be for a mage. So explain me what's the point of giving a mage a foreign damage buff or affix. I mean, the entire purpose of playing a mage is not to get yourself hit. It's like playing a tank and giving him instead of a shield made out of steel or iron, is to give him a shield made out of glass and complain that he doesn't have a shield after like the first two seconds of a fight. What is this bull? Another four damage? Elemental resistance attack speed. Yeah, that's, that's what I need. That, that's what I need. Elemental resistance. Uh, I don't think I need elemental resistance though. Critical strike damage. Hmm, okay. Do you have actually something that's good? Evasion movement speed. I can work with that. Eh, maybe. Level 7! New active skill unlocked. Book smash! Okay, that sounds convenient. I'm convinced. Right, you drop a big large book on the head of an enemy, dealing some damage. The book wasn't that good anyway. Since you are smashing enemies with a book, book smash is considered like a melee skill. <laughs> Okay, how do I equip this bad boy? Equipped on. Uh. Okay, but how do I. How do I equip this bad boy, huh? I don't think that's actually a good idea, but okay, whatever, let's try! <laughs> it's some melee damage! It's a one shot skill! I love it! Oh no, we should look at that! Ah, it's just attacking me! Oh no, what am I gonna do? Book. <laughs> Book drop! <laughs> book drop! <laughs> You've missed that thing! What thing? The gigantic book? Yeah, it's Tolkien, motherfucker! You should know it! Is it just me or the game just, just decided to go a bit of a Dark Souls with the music over here? I know it's hard to hear the music through all the pottery I'm smashing with my gigantic feet, you know, that's a... That's a disorder. Oh, oh, hello! How are you? Come on, Nick. Okay, you guys want to come in? Come on, come on in! Come on, join the party! Come on, come on! Everybody's invited for the fun circus! The show is about to start, boys! The show is about to start! Alright, everybody in? Little Timmy? You got popcorn? Good! 
No, no, so terrifying. Ow. Here, have a book. Here, have a book. Here, have a book. I wrote a book for you bastards. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay, and now time for the zappy. Yeah, feel the power, motherfuckers. Here comes the killing spree. Ah, it feels good. What the hell is that thing? Avalanche just came out of the bridge. Looks like his shallow compass spotted towards the direction of the nearest bridge. We should use it to close the bridge and save some villagers. Villager found. Oh, I forgot what type of advice I should try to give to the spirit. We forgot that he was the almighty hero of the realm. With only one shovel, apparently. We have released a villager that was trapped inside the bridge. He will make his way back to Adrant on his own. And you will be able to talk to him once he is, once you get there. I honestly hope that you will be worth more than the shovel. Fascinating experience! What an amazing experience! I have to go back to the village quickly too. Oh, but I see that you have a slum reaper. I'm an expert myself. Come find me in the village. I could give you a tip or two. I bet you are! Every single motherfucker in this village is an expert when it comes to saving this pathetic hole. It's all dropped in use Shuli's hands. God damn it. Huh. Are you saying that Pashava Compass can look at preachers? It is really exponential! But we still have to find my shovel compass repair kit. We should, uh, we should have... We should visit the villager who brought back. He would certainly have things to tell us. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm stuck already. How the hell do I navigate around this bullshit? Yeah, sure, let's build a graveyard next to the seashore. What's the worst that could possibly happen, right? Hello? My name is Garium. People often call me Reaper Prof. Slum leapers are exciting weapons, you know. They have a soul of their own, awakened by the slum. There are many of them, in which one has been forged for a champion of Arach of the past. For some, slum leapers are items to collect, or they use them for fights. Give you incompetence, giving you incompetence in combat, you must be a collector like me. You have, <laughs> you have made it. They are very rare weapons, and very hard to find? Ah, I see. Use it to fight. Then let me help you. It's not like you it's to full potential at all. Look, click. This is it. From now on, your slum you will become more powerful every time you absorb slum. Isn't that wonderful? You'll be able to find others during your adventures, but be careful. They are very rare. Come back to see me as soon as you find your first one. Slum Reapers are extremely rare items that can be found by destroying bridges. Each Slum Reaper has a unique effect that usually changes the way you should use your skills. Oh. Okay. So what does mine give me, huh? He gives me basically nothing. Lovely! I'm almost there, boys! Look! The Bridge Hunter. The combat at level 4, 7. We realized that the shovel compass did not indicate north, but the nearest bridge is such a surprising shovel. We will have to make a small detour for this area in order to close the bridge there before reaching the center square of the graveyard. Completed with the mighty knight, the fiercest hunter, mischievous mage. Oh, the game actually points out when you finish a thingy. Sure, whatever. My shovel compass indicates that the bridge is in the area. We should close it. It's our other way to the shovel compass repair kit anyway. Sure, whatever you say, dipshit. It's not like I'm doing all the heavy lifting. Gentlemen! Okay, I wonder how fast I can actually go through this area without lifting a finger. Oh, what you look at that? My weapon actually charged over here now. Slum Reaper. It's R. It's okay. I. I. Okay, so this is how many weapons are actually in the game? Collect them all! You're gonna slaughter them all, Pokemon! Oh wait, wrong game. Is it just me or did the archer just survive my book attack? Oh no, the archer survived my book attack! No! <laughs> Why did this thing happen to me? No! I have to improve my book attack very soon. Well, at least my laser is working as intended. Next game. <laughs> Much appreciated. And of course, level up, because why not? Uh, I wonder, actually... Does this thing will give you- Oh wait, my, my leaper has uh, advanced. So it just increases my damage, my rough damage. Sure, I guess. I mean, 
It's not so bad, but it is something, I guess, at some point in the game. Also, can you please give me, like, I don't know, more experience points for using the book attack? Because I'm so la lazy to level up. <laughs> I mean, come on! Also, why the heck this thing does not have AoE damage? I mean, it's a fucking telephone book, man. This should basically be starting to move air from its original orbit around sun. What do you mean? Earth is flat. Oh, shut up. Hey, found the bridge. Okay. Hello. Oh my, that's so many of you boys. Oh my. Oh my. Hey, no archers? Oh, that's a disappointment. But hey, it's not my bloody problem. <laughs> now die. Every single one of you. Die. Uh oh. I can think a bit too close. Come on, keep zapping. Keep zapping. And I'm out of mana. That's new. No, Sissy, that's new. <laughs> I'm out of my mana. Whoops. So I closed the bridge and nothing happened. Wait, you wanna tell me that there are more bridges right now? What type of a sorcery is this shit? Oh, is it just me or. Oh my god, a new enemy! Hello. I have no idea what you do because I didn't give you an opportunity to attack me. I am so sad and so sorry at the same time. Ah, great, found the next bridge. Wait, that's multiple? Open up! Yay, archers! Well, at least they die on the... on the instant. So that's at least good. Get that on fast! Get that on faster! Get that on fa Oh my god, really? An archer? Ow! Okay, you are a bit of a ow pain in the ass. Ow! Ow! I'm starting to notice an attack pattern over here. Ow. 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 Can you stop? Ow. Can you, like, please stop? Oh, come on! Oh, this is not even funny at this point. I hate ow archers. I honestly ow hate, hate archers. Let me get out of here. Wait, what do you mean? Out of here. Oh. Oh. So you die once and that's it. You have to go from the beginning. Motherfucker! So listen to the man. I died. I died and I feel so sorry about that. I died like a peasant. But I'll live like a hero. Hello, do you have anything new for me? You only have one. You have to make an effort. And I wonder how many do you have? What? How many? Zero? Well, just as the owner, just the same as the collection. I am the watcher on the walls. Uh, not exactly. Hello. I still cannot go past him to the dock area, whatever that thing is. Also, this town is really empty. Of course, there is the king's counselor. And that's actually it. I wonder what he's sniffing around. Suspicious. Oh, <laughs> I'm guessing... <laughs> I'm guessing this is where the king is now living. <laughs> Proves you're good, your highness. Proves you're good. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm rambling too much. So for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as over here. If you want to try the game yourself, link in the description below as always. So go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And for now, I'm gonna leave this episode as over here. And we're gonna, of course, try to continue this thing during the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.